Hey everybody, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you step by step how you can use SCEDA. SCEDA is an amazing software uh, for booking and scheduling. So I believe after finishing this video you will know exactly how to use it. Now if you're first time here, what you can do is just click on the link down below in the description and you will get right here. Also guys, if you're going to have any questions regards SCEDA, and you want to learn something deeper on this program, just write it down below in the comments and I will create a video on that too. So without further ado, let's start. First thing first, create your free account. And now create your free SCEDA account today. What type of account fits best? Flex, or you can go with a workplace. I'm going with the Flex, but of course, uh, you can go with the workplace too. So now we can choose. So let's say I will go with the workplace now so we can see everything. Like this. And email address is going to be here. Create account. Now let's just wait until it loads. And welcome to SCEDA. So we're so glad to have you with us. Okay, okay. I could click no thanks. And now you have always the resource center that you can use. Now in the moment when we are here, what we can do here and what we can find. So on the left, we can find uh, our schedule. On the top, when you click on a schedule, you can see between months, grid, list, or simple a map where you would find everything. The neighbors, marketing operations, dual monitor, charging port. So you can see it here all. You can see also if you're going to have the level one and I can see also the car park here. Now what I can do next. The next stuff is interesting. So let's say I'm in a date day. What I can do is simply go to top right and you're going to see spaces and you can create a new sp another space or create a view or you can go to desk like let's say 105. And here we are. So before we're going to jump to the spaces, I want to show you the next two things here, which are users. And in users, you can simply in a send invite link or you can add a user by adding an email, first name, last name, telephone, organization, system tag and custom tags. So that's something you can do. Or of course, you can go on the bottom left and click resource center and learn about spaces where you can go step by step. Or I can also click here and go to settings and you would find for the contact for our uh, spaces. I'm going to teach you how you can do that. And you can find all the settings here so we can edit it and go step by step what you can change. Now that's the users. These are the settings and these are the insights on the left the reports. Now, when we're going to back, when we're going to go back here for schedule, and let's say we have the desk 105. I say click here 9 a.m. I go simply and click book. Now I have a booking type here. So uh, booking type, let's say if it's going to be internal use or user booking. Date and time first from 9 a.m. to 9.30. I can go to 11. And in the moment when I change to 11, the length of uh, like the how much time I'm going to spend on the desk 105 changed. Repeat, I can go to like let's say weekly and I can go every one week uh, on Monday and let's say Tuesday and we can end by or end after how many occurrences and if you're gonna have like also expectation exceptions and then the next thing are spaces and then holder who is going to be so if it's going to be user or if it's going to be myself and booking title that's something I can add so now what I would do I would simply click confirm booking 
Now in the moment when you have it, let's say uh, uh, you got this 105. I can go and see the map here. And see, you're always going to see the bookings here, right? And you can simply based on a map, you can click on which one you want to book. Now, let's say I want to go top right to space and I can simply create another space. And I can add, let's say, Marcus space. And I can add a name. All users can see the space, only users with any of these tags can see the space. So let's say you would have a tag, a create a custom tag that someone special from your team on like marketing can see the space, no one else. You can change it right here, right? So then you're going to see also the description here. And then visuals. And then you're going to see the market space right here. Now, what next I wanted to show you is you're going to see also the hours of availability. When is opening hours that you're going to have for all spaces. Then you're going to see the floor plans and maps. And you can simply assign here. Right. Or unassign, let's say. Like this. So that's something you can do. Data retention, subscription. Then you're going to see also uh, the coloring here, the spa space sharing. And then you have something interesting here called conditions. So again, condition one, the internal is grade two. Then you can simply add a booking con conditions here. Now, when I go back again and I go to top right to spaces, when I create another space, I can create also view. So view one and I can go like this, this, this. And this is how you can simply add the views. So this is pretty much it, how you can use it. It's nothing really that difficult. Now, if you're going to have any questions, guys, about Askeda, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help and provide you some feedback. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.